and the House of Representatives has unanimously endorsed the candidature of Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala for the position of the Director General of the World Trade Organization for 2021 to 2025. This was sequel to a unanimous adoption of a motion by the minority leader of the House, Rep. Um, Ndudie Lumelu, at the plenary on Tuesday. Lumelu said that the chairman of the General Council of the WTO has announced the commencement of the process to replace the outgoing Director General, Roberto Azevedo, with the opening date for nomination set at June 8, 2020, and closing date of July 8, 2020. Two-term Minister of Finance, one-time Minister of Foreign Affairs and former Managing Director of the World Bank, Dr. Ngozi Okonjo-Iweala, has been formally nominated by Nigeria. If successful, Okonjo-Iweala will be the first female and first African to have occupied the office. And the member representing Oguta State constituency in the Imo State House of Assembly, Frank Ugboma, says there is no going back on the demand for Speaker of the Assembly, Chiji Collins, to either resign or be impeached. Ugboma posited that members were unanimous in making the demand, adding that about 22 members of the 27 members of the House have joined in the call for Chiji Collins to resign or be impeached. Speaking to journalists in Oweri, Uboma listed some of the sins of the speaker to include running the assembly like a sole proprietorship venture where only him takes decisions and handles the affairs. It is the speaker, T.G. Collins, Ph.D., that we are calling for his resignation. More than 22 members, I mentioned to who is comfortable with Chiji Collins. He has lost the confidence of all the members, all the members. He has lost the confidence of all members of the House. Who is he with? That is, you can't be a judge in your own case. He stepped aside for the Deputy Speaker to preside an executive section where an ad hoc committee was constituted to investigate the matter concerning his certificate forgery. I was a, I'm a member of that committee. I shock you. I will, it will be shocking to hear that that committee only sat once, and that was... Reacting to the call, the Chairman House Committee on Information, Dominic Ezerioja, said uh, there was n uh, nothing of such in the State House of Assembly. He stressed that the office of the Speaker is not in any way threatened. If, if I may correct you, the Imo State House of Assembly has no crisis. There is no problem in Imo State House of Assembly. Anybody who, dis who said or made any comment in terms of impeachment, I, for one, as the Chairman House Committee on Information and Judiciary, and as a man who has practiced and continue to practice law as a profession, despite the fact of being a legislator for now for four years, I do not think that it would be reasonable for me to discuss the impeachment saga of the Imo State House of Assembly as a speaker on the pages of newspapers, television, and social media. Impeachment of a speaker can only take place at the section of the plenary. The speaker can only be impeached by the rules of the House in conjunction with the senior brother of the rules popularly known as the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria in bracket 1999 as amended in the year 2011. There is no issue of impeachment of the speaker going on, and I will not also join hands in making these comments open to the media in order to make it more medially, because there is nothing like that happening in Imo State.